Okay. Hello, YouTubers. Here we are, Friday afternoon. Glorious downtown Denver. Ooh, big tall buildings, wow. I'm gonna go ahead and get here. Oh, geez, why is it every time I put it in neutral the light turns green? Is that just me or does that happen to everybody? Okay, um... I got a bunch of questions for other motorcycle riders. Not necessarily, don't have to be on an R6, a sport bike, or even a Yamaha. Just kind of some general questions in general. For example, those of you that wear full-faced helmets, and if you got a hunk of loogie, do you just swallow it or do you pull over, unstrap, and spit it out? Just kind of curious. I wonder how this is showing up. It's kind of dark in here. Of course, I do have my tinted visor on, plus my sunglasses. If it wasn't for these brake lights up here, I couldn't see shit. Oh, one of my favorite lines from the movie Cannonball Run. <laughs> I can't see shit, can you? <laughs> no problem, son, no problem. All right, daylight, okay. I'm actually kind of surprised. I got this camera inside my helmet and Wearing a tinted visor, so I think overall it's showing up pretty. Oh, giant hole in the ceiling! Awesome. Hold on a second. <laughs> Trying to scratch my eye. I forgot I was wearing sunglasses. Bonk. Okay, let's see. What are some other questions I have for other motorcycle riders? If you have a dog and you're about to go out for a ride and you, you know, spend a few minutes putting on your gear like I do, does your dog stare at you all sad and wants to cry and just give you these looks trying to make you feel guilty? <laughs> Mine sure does. She knows I'm leaving her. She gets so sad. But the upside to that is they are happy when they see you get home. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay, here's a question for the guys. <laughs> Do any of you wear an athletic cup? Oh, jeez. Freaking standing on grip. Fuck, man, I'm gonna fall over. <laughs> and my foot on gravel, I about fell over twice. Okay, back to the athletic supporters. How many of you guys actually wear a cup? Because my first bike, I never racked my nuts once. But I've had this Yamaha R6 for about uh, six weeks now. And every time I go out for a ride, I'm constantly smashing my nuts against the uh, gas tank. So I think it's just the, probably the design of the bike. I'm not riding it any different. All right, make sure the car behind me stops because if he doesn't, I'm gonna have to launch it and hit about 20 people. Um, damn, a lot of people out. Is that little kid pointing back at me? That's weird. I've driven a Corvette for so many countless how many years, and you rarely get little kids pointing out. Yeah, once in a while you do, but it's funny riding around on a sport bike. Oh, it seems like all little kids want to point at you. Daddy, look! Either that or I forgot to put my pants on or something like that. Probably prefer to comment since I was talking about little kids. Yeah, it helps to look both ways, dipshit. Okay, so anyhow, it seems like half the roads in my city are cement and the other half are asphalt. I mean, whenever they merge, the asphalt always seems to bump up and create little mini speed bumps. And every time I do, I smash my nuts. So I am just in every little like pothole. So this is uh, you know if they have to nickname this thing the Nutcracker. Yeah. So I'm about ready to uh, <laughs> go to the sporting goods store and buy an athletic cup. 
So overall I'm enjoying this bike, but my nuts are not. Oh shit, no turn on red. Yeah. Can't turn because we've got these stupid light rail things. Things are electric and you just don't hear the bastards. Unless they hit their little horns and buttons and Yeah. No thanks. <laughs> Let's turn left here. Hopefully he's not going, because I'm going. Okay. I had a couple more questions for motorcycle riders. I can't think of them. Let's see, I got the... Uh, is your dog sad when you go for a bike ride? Uh, honking loogies, got that. Do you need a cop? Uh, maybe I should just quit dry humping the uh, gas tank might help. Oh, geez. God damn it. Neutral's there somewhere. something would be going on down here to distract me and I could talk about, but I really haven't seen anything yet. Ah, geez. Okay, that's yes, the first. <laughs> okay, see that thing kind of over the uh, street? That's an athletic club. Pretty expensive athletic club. Years and years ago, when I was living in an apartment nearby, they gave a, a free month, one month pass to the residents of my apartment building. So I go ahead and just bogarted it for about a month and holy cow that place was just friggin' ritzy. Oh the spaghetti factory is still open. Cool. That's a pretty cool place. God I haven't eaten there in so long. I know, we'll turn on Larimer. We will go this way. If you like to hang out in downtown Denver at night, Larimer Square is kind of one of the areas we're going to drive through. I'm pretty, yeah, dude, get her. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that or not. <laughs> Guy's practically dry humping his girlfriend there. Cool. <laughs> Free porn. Awesome. Oh. Well, that building's new. No, they just redid it. Just kind of turning my head, showing you all the sights. Exciting. Nothing to talk about. I had a couple more questions for other motorcycle riders and I just can't think of what they were. Oh well, I think I got the basics down. Oh yeah, so anyhow, past Larimer Square is going to be a local Metro State College. Let's we'll see if there's any little hotties walking around. So there definitely isn't any around here right now. What about her? Is she, she good looking? Eh, my door. I probably want to get over Lane. God, I'm still in first. Jeez. That's the one thing I wish this thing had, was a gear indicator. It'd just be friggin' handy. I saw where some guy's retrofitting him. But I think he wants about 300 bucks for it. Probably be worth doing someday. Right now I'm just trying to get some extra colored fairings for my bike. Yeah, I'm starting to repeat myself and stuff I've already talked about, so... Wow, there's just nothing going. Ooh, I think I just missed a couple of hotties walking across the street. Dang. Huh, it is starting to get warm. Cool. God, this is just so exciting. <laughs> well, oh, okay. 
Let's just swing by the collar, see if we see any little hotties walking by. Okay, well, all right, I know this video is just truly exciting, so I'm going to have to leave you hanging with all the excitement. <laughs> Later.